Okay, hi, good evening, welcome to your group PT session. Um, so everybody's on, they've muted themselves, so you feel free if you want and you have any questions. It is an interactive session, so please do shout out if you want some help checking your technique. Just checking you are muted there, I think so. Cool. Okay, sorted, that's fine, I think you're cool, that's not a problem. Okay, so we're going to start by warming up. Um, I, some of you know I, I, I hurt my knee earlier, to, um, I just tweaked it a little bit, so um, I have made it selfishly into an upper body session, apologies if you wanted lower, um, I just can't do the moves, so I thought it'd be better to stick with that. Um, and I may not be going full gusto because of the knee, because obviously you do recruit mus uh, muscles from throughout the body in various different moves, so just bear with me if I'm not going all out, but I will make sure you are. Okay, let's warm up. So march on the spot, forward arm circles. And into backward arm circles. There we go. Into some shoulder taps. some hip circles. Keep going with those hip circles a second. I'm just going to see if I can make that brighter. There we go. That's it. All the way around. Change direction. Okay, and then standing on your right leg, let's do five hip openers. So you want to come up, out, and round. And then forward to five. Two. Three. Four. And five, and then the other side, up, up, and round. So one, two, three, four, five, and forwards. One, two, three, four, five. Then hinge at the hips. So drive your hips back and squeeze. I'm probably not going to go as low as normal just because I do feel this into my knee. That's it. So push back, flat back, squeeze at the top. Okay, and then knee circles. Take it a bit bigger if you can, and then the other direction. And then your ankles in both directions. And then you want to grab a mat and do your walkouts. So we're going to do five walkouts. Again, gets all the joints going and elevates your heart rate. Dry up standing. You might be faster than me, that's totally cool. session. <coughs> Excuse 
interesting thing. We're going to do five reps. Then we're going to go up to eight. Then we're going to go up to 12, then to eight, and then back to five. Okay? So it's a high rep session. Have an assortment of weights with you so that for the five reps, you can go heavier. Probably five and eight, you probably do the same. 12, you might want to drop down so you do the more reps. See how you feel. But you want to try and see if you can have a heavier set so we are mixing up the load on this, okay? So I'm gonna do for my, um, <coughs> just being that I'm arguing with myself. Okay, I'm gonna do my seven to my heavier, um, and then I'm gonna do fives or sixes for the mid weight, okay? All right, so military press is the first exercise we're gonna do. So that is, straight up and down to this, a standing press. What you can do is bring your elbows in a bit. If you find the angle of that too wide, bring your elbows forward. Sometimes that helps with any rotated cuff injury or issues you might have, so you can choose there. So we're gonna do five reps first. Okay, so picking up your weights. Are we ready? Bring them up safely. Let's go for five. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, bring down. Well done. Good moves there. Nice technique, everyone. And then we're going to be doing the same. Let's see how I go, guys. <laughs> we're going to do the same for eight. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, so squeeze your bum to hold your body from leaning back and standing still. Two, soft knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bring down. Well done. Okay. So we've got 12 reps next. I'm going to reduce that just to my sixes. So not too much difference. If I was probably feeling a little bit more um, up to it, I might have gone to my eights for my heaviest one, but just to give you a steer for challenging. Okay, we've got 12 reps. So bring me up. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. We've got four more reps. One, I'm sorry, nine, ten, otherwise it's confusing. <laughs> Eleven, twelve, and bring down carefully. Well done. You should be feeling quite pumped in those shoulders now. Okay, we're going to come back down to eight reps, all right, and then to five. So I will be going up in my weight. Are we ready? So we're going to go to eight reps. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Seven, lots of core. Eight. Whew. That was pretty tough well done and we're going to do our five reps in a moment so give your shoulders a little bit of a shake out okay and at the end of this we'll have a little sip of drink and we'll move on to the next move okay are we ready five reps bring up let's go one two Three, four, five, and bring down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to go into the next move, all right, which are our rows, okay? So we're going to do, um, there's options here with the rows. If you wanted more bicep, you can turn your palms up and uh, have your palms facing up in row, or have your palms back and row into that back. Okay, so I'm gonna go 
uh, probably with my sevens for the fives again. All right, if you find it too hard holding that way, you can hold them that way as well. So that's, that's not a problem, which I've already demonstrated. Okay, so hinging back, tipping forward. Let's go. One, two, three. Keep that bum pointing back. Four, five, and rise. Okay, important thing is, if you're only tipping your shoulders this far down, you're gonna be feeling that in your lower back. You've gotta try and get a little bit more floor facing, okay, so your hinge is further back, all right? Okay, so we've got eight reps. I'm gonna stick the same, hinging back. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rise. Well done. For the 12, I am going to reduce down, okay? So I'm going to go to my, probably my fives for these actually because I was just feeling uh, it, but if not, just even a drop in one kilogram will be fine for you. See how you feel? Okay. All right, so hinging back. We've got 12 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and rise. Well done. Cool. Okay, shake it out. We've got to go to our eight reps and our five reps. Okay, so you can choose your weight accordingly. I'm going to mirror what I did before. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my sevens. You want to be, if you're facing it with your and you really want to feel that you're squeezing the top into your shoulder blades, okay? If you do it that way, again, still squeezing back, you'll feel more bicep if you have your palms facing up, okay? All right. Eight reps. Are we ready? Hinging back. Let's go. One, two, three, Make sure you're wearing in squeeze. Four, good, really good. Five, great stuff. Six, seven, eight, and rise. Okay, I'll place this down for a second. Give yourself a bit of shake out. I feel it a bit, my hammy's from pushing back. So it's kind of yeah, stand up and relieve those for a moment. And we've got our five reps, okay. There's a really simple setup for this session today. We're going to go each through these, each of the moves, doing our little um, pyramid, okay? And then, you know, depending if you, when you repeat this, if you have more time, you can go for it two times, you can go three times, you know, depending on how hard uh, and the time you've got, you want to work, okay? So, we're probably going to go through this twice. We'll see how we go for time. I'm not very good at guessing the uh, uh, pyramid times. <laughs> Okay, five reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and rest. Okay, good work. Right, so we are gonna wanna go a lot lighter for the next exercise. Okay, we're gonna do rear delt flies. Okay, so these are, when you hinge back again, same position, and you're flying back that way. So you come out like that, squeezing up into your delts, into your back, so squeezing in up and back, okay? And you'll feel it into the back of your arm. Um, so I would probably say, um, I'm probably gonna go with fours for the, uh, lower reps, and I might even just drop to my threes to the 12 because I haven't done these for a while. Um, <laughs> and we'll see how we feel. If I think I'm going a bit too easy, I will increase 
Now, you know, you want to find it challenging, but the most important thing is that you're not doing this to get up. If you're going too heavy and you're having to swing up, that's a massive exaggeration. But if you're having to do that, you've chosen too heavier weights to work with, okay? You want to be able to control the move up and control the move down, okay? And um, you want to sort of, I'll just demonstrate one now while you're looking. Okay, so hinge out, um, out, out. you want to come up, squeeze and control. So it's sort of forward, I guess I'm like that, okay? All right, so that's the height. Right, let's do our five reps. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. See, even then I felt myself going a bit like I was about to bounce the last rep. So just be conscious of that. Okay, so we've got eight reps. Are we ready? Set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, control, six, seven, eight. Definitely couldn't go heavier. <laughs> well done. It's a really tough move and it's worth trying to get that control because that's when the magic happens with your muscles. If you're swinging it around all over the place, you're going to be recruiting the wrong, wrong set of muscles, really. I'm risking a bit of back twinge. Okay, so I'm going to drop down to my threes for the 12. Okay, I'll face this way so you can see. It's right on. Are we ready? So I'm hinging back, tummy on. Let's go. One. Two. Slight curve in my arms. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Brilliant. Just make sure you are tipping forward enough. If you're too high, you're going to be using your back. All right. So, I might stick, <laughs> just as the body refracts, with the threes to my eights. Okay, and then I will go up for my fives. Okay. So, lots of close together reps today. Are we ready? Hinging back. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, 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 good. I'm only going to go up to by one kilogram each. Five to my fours. Make sure you pick up a pair. Don't get odd. I'm about to switch when you've got a load out on the floor. You have done that, mine. Okay, all right, so we've got five to finish. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Brilliant work. Okay, have a drink. Have a little mini pause before we start next pyramid. Okay, all right, so we've got little lateral raises, okay, so we're going to stand up them. And remember, you've got the options here, we can go all the way up. And you want to be forward with the body line. So you can go in line. It's a bit more effective to come slightly in front and have that slight curve. You want to feel it in your lats here. So sending it from the back of your armpits. Okay. If you've chosen too heavy, you can do partials. Okay. So if it gets too much, just do sort of half the distance. Okay. That's it. That looks good. So you're going up and down and down. Okay. All right. Perfect. Looks good. So. Excuse me. I'm going to go 
Uh, <laughs> I don't think not to cripple myself. But, but still go, go big. Right, I'm going to go five of my sixes. Five reps of six kgs. Okay, so soft knees. Okay, tuck your bottom under, tummy on. Are we ready? Let's do our five. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. I'm definitely going to reduce. I'm probably going to use three sets of weights for this one just to get the most out of that. I'm going to go to fives for my eight reps. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, two, three more even. <laughs> Can't count six. You know me. Seven. Back of the armpits and that way. Eight. Well done. And we've got our twelves. Okay, so I'm going to go to fours. I'm sorry if you haven't got the variety I've got, but hopefully you can switch around as needed. If not, remember you've got the partials. If it gets too much, do you, as many as you can full and always do partials to finish. Okay, so 12 reps. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Spread for the back. Three. Four. Control. Well done. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant, brilliant, brillo, brillo. Okay, so we've got the eights and the fives to come. So I'm going to go up to my fives, my eight, then we'll come to sixes for the fives. Okay, you've got it. Are we ready? Eight reps. Remember to get that stance sorted. Tummy on. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Okay, five more reps of the lap raises. I expect we're all feeling it. I certainly am. Now, psych ourselves up. Pick those weights up when you're ready. Okay, five reps. Ready? Let's go. One. Two, remember to not use your neck, relax your chin. Good, three, looking great team. Four, five. That's all I can do is not throw myself around on that last rep then. Well done, shake it out. Another exercise complete, that's brilliant. Okay, we've got frontal raises next. Okay, so you are gonna be really feeling this in the upper body and back, we've been working really hard. So with frontal raises, again, you want to ing um, involve back to your arms, okay? So it's soft knees, tuck your bottom under. And how you hold the weights, um, you can change, make a few alterations for comfort. I'll just, so you can do it with the, um, with even the dumbbell ends pointing straight up. You can do straight up ones. I like to do that angle these days. So from here, I go up and finish like that, okay? That's more comfortable for my shoulders. You can do where you go out and round and add that. That's another option. Okay, so you can go straight up or straight up like that, or you can go with the angle, or you can go round. Okay, so you can choose. All right, so we've got five reps to come. I'm going to probably start with my. Mm, mm, I'm going to try and do my fives. I might regret that. Fives to fives. We'll see. <laughs> Are we ready? Soft knees. Tummy on. Bottom on. Let's go. One. 
Just make sure you're not rocking. Two. Three. Um, the weights. We're ready. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Really good. Great technique, team. Six. Like what I'm seeing, you've got it. Seven, eight. Good. I'm definitely going to reduce to my 12s, okay? Um, I might even go to 3s just because I want to make sure I can hold the form. I would normally definitely do heavier, but I'm feeling a little bit today. <sighs> okay, so squeeze your bottom, tuck um, in under. So just do that, that's it. Normal stance, soft knees. Okay, frontal raises, let's go. One, so control up and control down. That work is going to be so important on the way down as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Good work. Okay, we've got eight reps. Okay, I'm going to go to my fives and hold on for dear life. <laughs> okay, set yourself up nice and strong. Remember your breath's going to help, so exhale as you lift the weight. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, halfway, five, six, seven, eight. Good work. We have five left of these. All right. Really good. Okay, so I'm not going to put these down. I'm just going to stretch out my arms <laughs> holding the weight. Okay, we've got five more reps. Okay, ready, set. Come on, team, we can do this. Let's go. One, two, three. Two more, four, five. Awesome, really good, really good. Okay, we've done the front raises. Okay, so we've got one more exercise. Hang on a sec. Yeah, we've got one more exercise and then we've got tricep, uh, which is upright raise. Okay, and if we've got time, we can do a round of tricep dips to failure. Okay, because that sounds fun. <laughs> okay, upright rows. All right, so we're going to lift up, push down. Remember, it's like you're putting a chain out the ground. So leaning with the elbows, pushing it back down, drawing up. Okay, so that's the position you want to be in. I'm going to probably do my heavier reps with my sixes um, today. Uh, sorry, the lighter reps, the less reps rounds. Okay. Are we ready? Set. Let's go. One. Kettlebell is obviously perfect for this. Two. Two. Three. Four. Control. Good. Five. Okay. I'm just going to go to my fives because I can just feel my technique's not awesome. <laughs> okay. Eight reps. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, 
three, four, leap to those elbows, five, push it down, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, I think I've gone up, eleven, I'm going to do twelve, I'm sorry guys, I jumped up, twelve, <laughs> Holly, you're, you should be teacher. I saw you stopping. I thought, I've done something wrong here. <laughs> okay, well, it's going to be a funny set of pyramid steps today. We're going to do, now we're going to do two rounds of eight on the bounce, okay? Because I, um, or you can do the 12 like you should have done if you stopped at eight and we're, um, actually knew how to count. All right. <laughs> I just get carried away. Okay. All right, I'm going to do eight. You can do 12 or eight. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. One. I've just got a simple task, really. I just need to count. Two. <laughs> Three. Tricep gave up first. 
All right, well done. <laughs> I'm just gonna hug my knees because it'll feel nice. Even though we didn't really do the lower body, it's just quite nice to hug them in. That's awesome effort. If you are doing this on catch up, or if you want to continue now, you can go back to the beginning and do a whole second round for a really meaty upper body session. Right, I'm going to come up to standing. Okay, awesome work. You should feel like your guns are looking superb after that. I think they are. Bit of, bit of vanity project. Give those guns a big old... Oh, yeah, let's see them guns, yeah! All right, let's stretch. Tricep stretch. That's it. Really good. So I think that's 54 and a half reps, I think I managed. <laughs> Rather pathetic fifth. And then the other side. Well done. Palm across. Well done. And then the other way. And release. Hands are small, be back. Open up the chest. Expand the chest. And then interlace your fingers. Chin on your chest. And release. And give those arms a good old shake. That's it for our stretches today.